I knew it would be a mistake to play T-Rex while making the video. Um, I'm actually, actually it was last week, um, received this CD from Amazon and it cost me the whole of one English penny. I couldn't really afford it, you know, I didn't even think I would receive it. It cost me 125 in P&P. And um, it's got a slight crack on the case. And it does actually jump through my favourite song, New York City. Um, I'm not going to send it back. Um, you know, I love it. <laughs> and um, I'm really pleased with it. You know, I love Amazon. I love internet shopping for stop. <laughs> Um, very lethal, as you know, it should actually come with a government health warning. Um, oh, before I start anything else, only one week to go, well one week Saturday, today's Thursday, depending on when you're watching this video, obviously. I can't remember what I said in the last video, I don't watch my own videos. Um, well, I don't watch them 200 times anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so let's just carry on with it. Yes, one week. Just over one week. But I'm going to say one week to the Mark Bowling Week. As you can tell, I'm very excited. God help you next week. <laughs> Anyone would think I was going to Australia. You know, I'm that excited. Um, bit scared of London, as I mentioned before. You know, the subways and the underground. Um, saying that, you know, I've been on the metro in New York City. You know, I'm sure I can manage London. <laughs> I will try my best, you know. I've got my train tickets now, I've got to go. Um, yeah, <laughs> cost me £34 return from the Midlands and the prices are fluctuating. I'm actually travelling back on the Monday afternoon and the actual price has gone up to £38. Very quirky, I've just got back from Butlins. <laughs> anyway, yes, and um, the price has gone up £4 to £38 return. Obviously, um, to come back on the Sunday is cheaper, it's 30 just 30 pound return yes so there you go that's from the midlands you know depending on where you're traveling so i just thought i'd mention it <laughs> okay let's get back onto amazon shall we <laughs> okay now as i mentioned i got this cd and last week i was looking for something else and i thought oh while i'm on here i will have a look for um, a dvd and i don't know if you ever heard of a movie called 200 cigarettes it's American, um, has a lot of famous stars in it, including Courtney Love. Um, yeah, she looks a bit like me. <laughs> and um, I got it the other day actually. And I, um, I was so excited to get it, couldn't wait to watch it. Took it out of the packet, and this is what I got. And I'm like, that's not a flipping DVD, it's just actually the soundtrack of 200 Cigarettes. This is the trouble with internet shopping, you never know what you're going to... It's from a company actually called Am um, not Amazon, <laughs> Zoverstocks. It's a UK company based. And I actually ordered um, something else, Centrinians 2, nothing to do with Mark Bowl. And I received that okay, perfect condition. And I'd already ordered this, which I was going to tell you about in a minute, from Zoverstocks. I was so worried, I was starting to panic, so I hadn't received it. So it's just five minutes ago I received it. And um, so I'm pleased with that one and not so pleased with this one you know the see the actual soundtrack cd is really good it's got blondie the ramones Elvis costello the go-go's i can't wait to play it really uh, but it cost me um four pounds something and you know i was really looking forward to the dvd i love it it's, a, it's sort of based on new year's eve i will have to have another look on amazon and i'll probably get something completely irrelevant <laughs> okay sorry if i'm knocking the camera i'm getting a little bit excited as usual so i'll quickly show you this as i've just pointed it out and it is the mark bolan and t-rex movie born to boogie you know where he starred with bingo star and i used to have this on video and i thought the other day now while i was looking all through the mark Bolan, there's just so much but if you just type in mark bolan and t-rex into amazon you just get a long list of books. There's a book behind me there. I've got some other books. This one is actually from Amazon. The story of the Mark Bowen story cost me three pounds. And the PMP is literally nothing. I always look for the bargains, check out the sellers, obviously, because they're not all kosher. Um, there's a lot of charlatans about, but on the whole, everything's usually okay with Amazon. I don't like eBay. But anyway, to cut to the chase, um, these are a couple of other books that are available on um, 
Yeah. I've had these actually for 30 years, but you can get everything on Amazon. There's another one, Rider White Swan. They actually even had the Warlock of Love for £95, and they also had the Mark, you know, the series he did. But it's actually a compilation, you know, you can you just cannot buy, it's impossible to buy the whole series due to copyright, they never produced it. And obviously, obviously it's been transferred from videotape to DVD, so it's the, you know, the sound isn't as good as it would be now. You know, it was produced in the 70s, you're going to get sort of that sort of thing going on, the 70s. <laughs> yes, and it's very, you know... His show, he had a lot of stars in those days who couldn't get onto TV. Um, we didn't have things like MTV, VH1. We only had three TV channels. We even had something called the Three Day Week in the 70s where you couldn't, you, you had to turn the tellies off at 10 o'clock at night. I don't know if anyone remembers this. And um, Top of the Pops in those days was a very big phenomenon sort of thing. Um, because that's all we had really, we had nothing else, we had no internet. Kids today, you do not know you're born, you know, but we survived it and come out all right. Some of us did. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I'm sort of drifting off the subject. I was mentioning the Mark show, you know, we had um, people like Generation X, you know, people who, bands who were just starting out, like the Jam and the Damned, Eddie and the Hot Rods. You know, they're all on this compilation. It's, I think it's less than ten pounds. Very cheap. You know, it's worth having if you like collecting anything by Mark Barland, like I do. And that will be my next purchase <laughs> very shortly. Okay, let's just carry on with this, shall we? It's the Mark Barland, as I said, movie boy to boogie, and it comes in a little box. I was so pleased with it. I was like, oh, even if it don't play, like the CD. <laughs> Now I'm sure it'll be fine. And it comes with a little book. I'll have to let you know when I watch it. <laughs> and it's got all little pictures of T-Rex. It's actually better than the video. With the video, it didn't get nothing with that. And the, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and the little leaflets. I think that's about the CD. <laughs> and also it comes with two discs. Which are in good condition. Obviously these are pre-owned. Because they don't really make them anymore, do they? No. So I've got this one, and it's got a sleeve that opens out, like so. And it says, I can actually tell you here what it says. Disc one, Born to Boogie, in a motion picture. T-Rex in concert, 8.30, 18th March 1972. Born to Boogie, original theat theatrical trailer. Sorry about my accent. T-Rex in concert, this is disc two by the way, 5.30, in touch of the times, 18th of March 1972, Cosmic Rock documentary. Ooh, I think I might like watching that. I will look forward to that one. Reborn to Boogie, restoration feature. t Rextras. that's a good word. Outtakes, oh, I'm gonna love that. I just love outtakes. Interviews and much more. Oh, I'll have to do a review of this, won't I? I know everybody's probably seen it, but <laughs> I just get very overexcited about Mark Boland and T-Rex. So yes, and that cost me four pounds something. I can't remember exactly, and that was including P&P. Was it five pounds? It wasn't very much. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting very carried away. Now I wanted to very quickly show this as well from Amazon. I've been a very busy bee on Amazon over the last couple of weeks. That's why you haven't seen me. Yes, I got this from London. It's my Mark Boland bag, I know, and it was very expensive. It was, including with the PMP, I would say it was just under £10. It was £9.50. It's a lot for a bag. They call it a tote shopping bag. Very thin material. To be honest, you wouldn't fit a lot in there. I might just about get my feather bow in it, or um, boa, or my glitter, you know. And it's got Mark Bowl in there, as you can see. It's all purple, and it says Mark. And um, this was very good on delivery, actually. I got it within two days. And for £10, I would think so too. <laughs> but, you know, I love it. <laughs> 
as you can tell. And um, also got this, I know it's nothing to do with bot bowling, but you know, going to London, I thought I would mention it. Um, because, as I said, I've just showed you that bag. I'm not going to fit much in it, and I don't really want to. I'm going to travel light anyway because it's just a weekend but light to me isn't really light and I don't want to carry a little bag on wheels, you know those little bags, you know, because I just know I'll be tripping everybody over because London is going to be very busy. So I thought I would get a backpack, I know, I'm going to join the backpack brigade and I got this from Home Bargains for £10, the recommended retail price was 25 and uh, I know it's nothing to do with Mark Vaughan, as I said, but I just thought I'd show it you. And it's got lots of room and pockets inside. So there you go, I'm going to be backpacking. <laughs> so yeah, so I thought I'd show you that. And also these spandex pants. I was going to be showing you my outfit next Friday when I make the last video, because it'll be the day before I won't be able to speak. <laughs> yes, and I've got these. Yes, they are purple. And as I said, London is very hip. So, have I showed you them before? If I have, sorry about that. Okay then, now I'm very excited, sorry to go on and on. I might have to make two videos today because I've got too much to say. Because I haven't made a video for so long, so I've been at Bucklins. Okay, um, Quicker Wood itself, I'm very sniffly as well. Oh, um, Quicklewood itself is a place I want to visit. I'm very interested in history, <laughs> I know. Um, Victorian England, I'm very geeky. Um, believe it or not and I love um, old buildings so I'm looking forward to going to Cricklewood um, if you don't know if you've never been to London Cricklewood is actually a very famous place in London um, it's got a lot of Edwardian sort of buildings and Victorian you know that kind of thing going on and they used to film um, a series actually which I used to love it in the 70s called Minder that was filmed at Cricklewood and also there's another one, oh my god, in the 70s also, I used to love it, you probably remember it, it used to go like this, goody, 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 yum, yum, oh my god, it was totally off the wall and crazy, um, they had the goodies, they filmed that in Cricklewood, um, explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, and this building I really want to visit, this actual hotel called the Crown Moran, it used to be called the Crown Pub. It was built in 1899. It's a Grade Two listed building. Um, I think it's a four-star hotel now. As I said, you can actually stay there. Um, yeah, so I'm wanting to see that. You know, there's just so much I want to see. Obviously, the shrine. I've got this thing about shrines. Um, I've never been to one, really, at all. So that's why one of the reasons I'm looking forward to not, you know, as the main reason being it's Mark Boland's shrine. Um, I've lot, all I've ever seen is photos on Facebook, um, obviously on the internet. Um, I wanted to mention Tag, the T-Rex Action Group, who have perpetual rights to the site because the actual tree itself was going to drop to die and be felled. So T-Rex Action Group came to the rescue. It was actually founded in 1999 and as I said, they sort of keep it looking pretty and nice and tidy because obviously um, a lot of litter congregates there. Um, so they you know make it look all nice and I also wanted to mention be careful what you take into the shrine you know there is a lot of talk of it looking a bit like Disneyland sometimes so you have to think about what you're taking you know balloons wouldn't be acceptable obviously because um, Queen's Ride where the shrine is situated is a very busy road in London so obviously balloons are dangerous so you have to think about these things what you're taking you know little um, obviously I would want to write something and put it on the tree or something like that but I wouldn't take a great big teddy bear you know <laughs> so I'm just saying I don't know so there you go um, yes and also I wanted to mention Circa the um, the Crohn's in Childhood Research Association who um, London Bop the Bowling Bop um, that's where all the you know doing raffles and obviously the, some of the pro was it all the proceeds from the teeth I'm not sure um, I know there's, I wanted to mention it because I didn't say who they were in my last video. Um, yes, so I was going to tell you that and they're doing a raffle also and there must still be tickets left. Um, yes, it's all over Facebook and Twitter. Yes, you can follow me on Twitter, at Susie Q Ramon, Miss Serendipity. Um, yes, <laughs> I thought I'd mention that as well. I'm mentioning a lot of things today. I'm going to have to make another video. This one is far too long, so I'll maybe have to do it all again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going now. I think I've mentioned just about everything today. So catch you later. 
Um, if I don't, <laughs> I'll see you next week at London. <laughs> Ciao for now. Stay tuned. <laughs>